Oops. Well, good morning. It's another day in the shop. Starting a new job today. We got a couple old ones are just wrapping up details, but got a new one going on here. So I have to turn this and this into this and this and this. Got to get our face frames built. We got everything all pocket hold processed. B got that done for us last night, so we got to put them together so we can get our final measurements for a couple pieces of plywood and get that cut out. So a little chilly in here this morning. Might be because it's 14 degrees in April. Doesn't quite seem right, but it is. Or it's because somebody forgot to put wood in the stove last night, or both. Got another little problem here. Had a couple ends go bad on our cords, so got to get that fixed up before we start in the rest of our day. No one would accuse me of being an electrician, but I usually do enough to get by. <clears throat> Electrical stuff always goes better when you have the right tools. Any job goes better when you have the right tools. Leatherman and a driver probably aren't the right tools. Well, I we can call that a success. Now we can get on to bigger and better things. So when you're building face frames, you got to think backwards. You look at the plans, and but then we actually build them from the back side, so you got to flip everything over in your head, do it upside down. And we almost always make at least one backwards, just to keep things interesting. So everything's marked on the back side here. Probably should have a bigger table, so I don't have to try to do everything on top of everything, but I've done it for a lot of years that way, and I just keep doing it. So maybe someday I'll grow up. Other species we can just clamp it here, screw it with hickory, it's gonna split. So you gotta throw that heavy clamp on there. Put the screws in, you can take it out, it's just fine. problems on this end. This one's too long rather than that one being too short so I can just cut this off. So I don't want to break that joint on that end so I can break my face frame and mess things up. So I'm going to have to cut it off here at 51 and an eighth and they need to be at 50 and an eighth so it's one inch off. Might not want to try this trick at all. I don't want to fit on my saw right. Do a few more uh, things that you should probably do at home, but we'll get it figured out. So with that there, it won't fit on my fence, so we're going to use this to space it out away from the fence so we can cut it. You're still counting to five.
I think you got a pinch over there. Well, good morning. It's another day. Back in the shop today. He's getting the base ring under the white belt. They'll be ready to put together. Probably was getting sanded. We can start building our boxes, putting that together. Plan to start building in panels. We get the panels built. Probably with sanded, base frame sanded. Put it all together and uh, have a cat. So today I'm going to build bases. We've got to put a base underneath of each one of these cabinets here. Look at our previous video. Why do we use these bases? We'll put it up here somewhere. And then we'll see what that's all about. So I gotta get these figured out and get them cut. I just gotta figure out what my depth is. So that one, which I think is this one right here. So that one I need 17 and a quarter overall. 17 and a quarter. Minus six and a half with 16, 15 and three quarters. My pieces in between. And six of those. them whacked out next. So I got a bunch of these pre-cut over here already. That's our standard size. So on the other part of the loose base you saw it with all the little strips so that's empty. It's supposed to be full. We're gonna fix that. exactly how many to make. I just fill my box up so I'm gonna to count these out actually to figure out what I need for a full box that way I could just do it so I'm trying to figure it out every time. It's another day first order of business turn on the coffee pot. Morning B really need to clean up this mess. Ripped a bunch of boards yesterday. But sometimes these are just a trip over so you feel like cleaning it up. I don't know why. What am I missing? I need something. What is it? Uh -oh. That's what it was. I got my earplugs. No, I guess it would help us put them on. I gotta get my coffee made. Face frame on here. Now the top edge is going to want to drip again. We're going to smear that just a little bit. That makes it doesn't want to run quite so bad. We'll grab that on there quick. This side gets clamped on. Yeah, we got that out of the clamps. Got the back end. Got the other one put together there. Face frame clamped on. I think we got everything built we can do until we get the panels finished up and ready to go. So these still staining away. And it is another, another day. day. On to the next step, bus trim and putty. So we gotta trim this ridge off of here all along. And then we putty that, putty all of our joints. Ready the bottom edge here so that finishes up nice. You gotta do that on all of those that are done. Fred's doing a little edge banding over there. So get her done. So 
plus trimming is used to be the dirtiest job we ever did. You got sawdust all over, you have to shovel the table off after you're done. But with the best tool that the vacuum hooked up, super clean now. So they're a huge investment. So we use that one to take the bulk of our stuff off, bulk of material, but we can't reach into the corners. So then we use this little tiny one to get in the corners to clean it up. <laughs> 